hello guys uh, welcome back to IT father Academy uh, today we are going to learn something so special uh, but before I continue please subscribe to this channel if you haven't done yet and also comment like and share all right so uh, you're going to learn how to link GPU to Oju and to block users USB ports using Unix server 2012 R2 group policy management so uh, we are going to learn how to block um, users uh, USB port yeah to avoid them copying something from the machine to their own uh, removable device all right so we need to open our group policy management windows and uh, create GPO and uh, also then link the GPO to the domain or the OU and uh, also after linking the GPO to the domain of OU then you run this um, GP update space slash force then we run same also on the client machine for it to take uh, effect okay so now let's begin let's open the uh, management windows so you go to windows server dashboard so this uh, you move top here uh, that's tools then you click on tools and you scroll down here you see group policy management you click on it so here is it then you expand the forest name domains and uh, domain name here ima.org so you see we have default domain policy we have domain controllers we have IT department that's the OU I created and uh, we have group policy object WMI filters starter GPUs so uh, we want we have to create the GPU first so the GPU itself is already here so we're going to create our own so you right click on it then you go to new yeah, so we are we have a um, USB block already so let's name this one USB port block USB port block then you click okay so here you expand group policy object so you see we have what the USB port block here so according to my note here so after creating the GPU, then you link the GPU to a domain or OU. This is the OU. So you right click on the OU, then you go to link an existing word GPU, then you click on it. So then you come here and select the one you just created. So that's a USB port block. Then you click OK. So when you expand IT department, you see we have a USB port block. So you right click on it. You go to edit then since you want this settings we will take effect on the user account not computer or the domain itself then you come down here user configuration then you expand all policies then you expand administrative template so you let make it big then you expand settings sorry system rather So then you look for removable storage access. So here is it. Then we click on it. So you see on your right pane here, we have a, a removable disk deny write access, and we have all removable storage classes. So deny all access. So you right click on it. You see it has not been uh, enabled. So you right click on it. You go to edit. Then you mark what enable and you click on apply. Then okay. Then you close this console. Then you close this one too. Then you run what GP update space slash what force. So let's run. So let's copy this to run. Copy. So let's run. So GP update space slash word force so let's run 
so updating policy okay done so let's switch let's switch to our client machine so now let's run the same thing here so jp update space slash false let's run same thing here okay so user policy update has been completed so now uh, let's insert the drive and see okay let's connect to a virtual machine this client machine so let's let's open and see something here so when you go to computer uh there yeah there's a drive so let's open it and let's see access is denied let's try it again access is denied last one access is denied so it means our work has been done successfully all right guys thank you so much for your time please subscribe if you haven't done yet